you doing to get into the spirit of Hispanic Heritage Month? I like to dress up in one of my little numbers. This is a little dress made from a Mexican vintage hand-painted skirt from the 50s. And I add just some simple Mexican accessories like a calavera <laughs> necklace. <laughs> and here to help you Latinize is do-it-yourself expert, Cristina Wall. Cristina, hola. hola Bienvenida. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Gracias. Bien, bien. Okay. First of all, explícame bien. What is this Latinize term? So Latinize is basically just taking something from your everyday culture that, uh -huh. and adding it into your everyday wardrobe, decorations in your home, gifts. Perfect. So you can take a simple candle, a veladora, and then you yes. added a Latino flavor to so it. So you can get a simple candle and wrap a colorful rosary around My it. My mom would love that. Mi abuelita también. Me encanta. And you just put a little dab of glue to hold it in place, but you can also add family photos, make it a little more personal. That's great. And then I love this. You added a lengua mexicana. Yes, I did. <laughs> Mexican tongue. This one I love as well. I wear these all the time. Very and festive. Very festive. Yes, it's just the sarape material on the tongue. And everyone has one of those in the trunk of their car. You just cut it <laughs> to size. And I'm a huevona when it comes to crafting, so I use stitch glue instead yeah, of sewing. I like your style. Now, this is this is a matchbook, and you added a loteria card. I did. Yeah, la because corona. I love it. If you're giving it as a gift, you want it to look a little more festive, and so you just... Very good. There. And now you've got some clothing. Show us what else you got here. I do. I have this jacket here. And we just line the center. And this is the my cups. favorite color, one of them, Rosa Mexicano, <laughs> hot pink. And it's a hot color right now for current fashion Very as well. Very much so. And these? These are my favorite because my Theo, when I was growing up, had a 65 Super Sport Impala, uh -huh. red velvet tufted seats, and palms With everywhere. With the little bolitas? Yes, okay. and I was obsessed. So, so th these... These are your shorts. Yes, my or, shorts. Or well, they could be chones. <laughs> <laughs> and I used that same non-stitch glue and just glued these right on, wow, and it's washable that's and everything. So simple, and I love this, more sarape. And is that too much or is that just <laughs> enough? No, it looks beautiful on you, but if you want to go more every day, you can lose the, the balls. Yes, oh, I love <laughs> it. Well, and now that you're ready to be Latinized, go out there and party. And for more do-it-yourself tips, remember to follow Cristina on Twitter and Instagram. And you can always check our website for info on our guests and events. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Cristina. We learned some really cool ways to Latinize, right, girl? I was always Latinized. <laughs> but you should say, you better Latinize. <laughs> yeah, more Latinized now. <laughs> and not only are we Latinized, but Cristina brought us some gifts, girl. Yes, I did. <laughs> These are the pictures you sent over of your loved ones that have passed. Oh, And I turned them into a little remembering this is my puppy. <laughs> this is my friend Miguel Delgado. It's so special. This Thank you. This is my you. dog. You passed away and I wasn't there. Oh, my papito, my daddy, and he was only two years old here. It's a just beautiful way to remember him. Oh, Thank you. you like it. This is my grandfather, Pedro, who I never met because he passed before I was even born, but my mom says he was an amazing man. I wish I would have met him, so this is a great way to honor him. Oh, Thank you. No, course. and I, I haven't been Latinized like this, so thank you, Christina. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>